everyone. We are here in Chehalis, Washington, as we, we have been quite a bit, working on the Chehalis Centralia Railway Museum's number 15, built in 1916, a little Baldwin 282. Currently, in the course of, uh, a step in the process, rather, of uh, replacing the inner and outer side sheets, inner side sheets going up to about here, reaming the new material. Now, what is reaming? Well, you start off with drilling the hole with an annular cutter, right? Different video. And then once it's drilled and you have the sheet up in place, then you have to go through the sheet with a reamer. Well, what? what's a reamer? People hear these terms all the time, so many terms, when it comes to working on steam locomotives. But what is a reamer? Well, it looks kind of like an end mill that's really long, right? So you've got these flutes running down the reamer, and it's a reverse spiral, if you notice. So as it's turning, it's wanting to push out of the hole, which helps it from uh, uh, to keep it helps keep it from grabbing. I've run reamers that are straight flute, scary. So we are here, we being myself, Nick Hovey, and Jonathan. Reaming the sheets, actually, I'm, I'm laying out other stuff on other sheets. I'm just here talking. So, but what we're doing, so like I said, the new sheets are in place. They had bolts in every hole. They were torqued down to eh, something in the neighborhood of about a thousand foot pounds. And then tack welded the sheet in place so it wouldn't move. And now we're going through and reaming. And you can see the difference between a reamed hole and an unreamed hole. Quite the size difference, right? So now we explain to you what it was. What does it look like? Have a look. So now that you've seen what it looks like as a reamer comes through the sheet, one last little bit of info. So I talked about the different hole sizes, but that's not all a reamer does. It doesn't just enlarge the hole, right? It enlarges the hole in line with the hole in the muttering. You know, we, we transfer punched all of these holes. And they're really close to center, but not perfectly on center because, well, it's a transfer punch, and then the annular cutter has a little needle that you use for alignment, and it's not absolutely rigid. So there's, 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 there's room for error. And even if there wasn't room for error, you're still not, it's, it's never gonna, you're never gonna get all the holes right in place exactly as they need to be without reaming. So the reamer is the same size as the hole in the muttering. And as it comes through, it enlarges the hole on the center line. So there you go. Repeat process about 200 times. 